amusement park. No filthy animals on my ride. Oh, brother. My name is Eric Bowser, and I'm from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. And he's the most recent voice of... Yeah, what's up, Jack? That's right, folks. Bugs Bunny. Meh, what's up, Doc? I guess that's how we should have started this. So when did you find out that you were going to be the voice of Bugs Bunny? Around 2018. Uh, you know, I had auditioned for another project just before the series started, uh, and it was a, a small one-off animation that had Daffy Duck in it. And he didn't even say anything. He just was acting crazy and Daffy. He was going, woo 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 you know, he's bouncing up and down. And it was for the Warner Brothers shield, that shield behind me uh, at the very beginning of the Teen Titans go to the movies movie. Stretch your stuff. The season started in March and most of it is voiced out of his home because of the pandemic. In addition to the legendary Bugs Bunny voice, you can catch Eric doing a few others. Marvin the Martian, Earth creature. I, I really do like this interview, but it obstructs my view of Venus. <laughs> and uh, of course, Daffy Duck, which is a very non-pandemic friendly voice. You want to stay at least six feet away from my mouth when I'm doing this. And, and you do Tweety too. Oh yeah. Ooh, I taught I taught putty tat. Did you ever imagine that this would be your future? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone in their right mind would think I mean, at least the voice of Bugs Bunny. I think that's that's shooting for the stars. Eric says he's grateful to the late Mel Blanc, the original Bugs Bunny, for paving the way. When he's reading script, he draws upon his fondest memories to really get into character. I could pick up pick up anything here. Uh, oh, this is a good one. A Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles. I guess I have an unpaid parking ticket. <laughs> Defendant Eric Bowser, dum, 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 dum. you know, so it's like you kind of have to, you know, of course, I have to pick that one. You be, yeah, you better pay that ticket. My mom's going to love that one. But uh... coming up, Eric teaches me how to speak bunny and he tells me how he just celebrated his 41st birthday. Hint, hint, it's with LeBron James. Well, I can either confirm or deny that information. Tonight. Hello, amusement park. No filthy animals on my ride. Oh, brother. My name is Eric Bowza, and I'm from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. And he's the most recent voice of... Meh, what's up, Doc? That's right, folks. Bugs Bunny. Meh, what's up, Doc? I guess that's how we should have started this. <laughs> Stretch your stuff. <laughs> The Looney Tunes season started in March and most of his work is voiced out of his home because of the pandemic. In addition to the legendary Bugs Bunny voice, you can catch Eric doing a few others. Marvin the Martian, Earth creature. I, I really do like this interview, but it obstructs my view of Venus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, Daffy Duck, which is a very non-pandemic friendly voice. You want to stay at least six feet away from my mouth when I'm doing this. And, and you do Tweety too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I taught I taught putty tat. Did you ever imagine that this would be your future? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone in their right mind would think, I mean, at least the voice of Bugs Bunny. I think that's that's shooting for the stars. On Monday, Eric celebrated his 41st birthday in a way he would have never imagined. Well, I can either confirm or deny that information, but yes, I was on the set of uh, Space Jam 2. Uh, yesterday, um, uh, providing some character voices uh, to uh, to help LeBron get through some scenes. And in addition to being this talented voice actor, he's also an artist creating designs for his Toronto clothing line. This brand uh, called Retro Kid, it it is a love letter to Toronto and Canadian pop culture. Uh, an old high school friend of mine, Steve Gaskin, and I have always loved graphic t-shirts. Although I am a voice actor full-time, this is a great excuse for me to draw again and to create. And since I already had Eric on Zoom, I thought it was only appropriate to get some voicing tips from the star. If you push the voice right up into your nasal cavity. Mm, I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, I heard it. I heard a little bit of it. But you it's know what I could do? The only thing I can do. New York accent. Is is from Shrek and it's the gingerbread man and it's like, not my gumdrop buttons. You that's, 
That's amazing. I, I'm going to be sending you like tons of voice memos being like, <laughs> what do you think about this? What do you think about this? So you said the Brooklyn accent, like, you mean it's you idea, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, w- what's up, dog? No, I can't do it. <laughs> That's, but you, from where you were just a few minutes ago, you are that much closer to Bugs Bunny. Let's leave the voice work to the real pro. I guess that's that's all, folks. That's all, folks. But not all. We'll see you again soon. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.